All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is episode three of Books from Buddies. And in this episode, I would like to highlight a friend of mine, Robert Jimenez, uh, currently a Las Vegas resident, used to live in California, big L.A. Lakers fan, uh, big Kobe fan. I know he was devastated when um, we got the tragic news of Kobe's death. Now, Robert, throughout the years, has blessed me with a couple of things. Um, One of them is right down here, and that's this volume by Roger Olson called Reformed and Always Reforming, the Post-Conservative Approach to Evangelical Theology. And he asked me for my thoughts on this when he gave it to me, and I started blogging my way through it, but um, I was just highly frustrated at Olson's discussion, and I didn't make it through the book. I think I only got through the first four chapters. Um, Aside from that, though, Robert got me James Dunn's Christology in the Making. And, you know, for students of early Christology, they know just how important and seminal this work is. Even though Dunn was wrong in pretty much um, all of his conclusions, uh, this is still a monumental contribution to the field. And Dunn is probably um, one of Larry Hurtado's and Richard Balcom's biggest sparring partners. And those, I would say, are the three top names in the field of early Christology. Chris Tilling, I think, is better than all of them. I think he advances upon all their work, and um, he will displace them in years to come. But that's where we're at with that. Um, And then another volume is Eugene Peterson's Tell It Slant. And Robert told me how good this was um, in dealing with the parables of Christ. And I used this with great profit as we were teaching through the parables of my church. We spent almost half a year on it, I think 24 weeks in total. Um, So this one, along with Stories with Intent and Holdgren's The Parables of Jesus, were indispensable for that. And then finally... If we actually go to my backpack here. Um, when the NIV did their update in, I think it was 2011, um, Robert got me this Bible. Yeah, so it's, it's almost been nine years ago. And it's just a bonded leather, or uh, I guess this is their Italian duo tone. Um double column center column reference great bible this was my main bible for a lot of years as you see it's the one i keep in my backpack i added a couple of extra ribbons to it um i've preached and taught from it a number of times you could see a bunch of notes there i got papers with notes you know all throughout so absolutely love this bible um you know and it, it might be my most used Bible in the last 10 years. So there's that. So I, I'd like to thank Robert for all that he's blessed me with over the years. Thank him for his friendship. Um, that's it. Hope everyone's staying safe out there. God bless, and I'll talk to you next time.